Hello. How are you, beautiful people? I got, got, I gotta say, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit tired. It's getting drunk and I'm a little late. Thanks BFF for my birthday present. I recently did a video. This will probably come out afterwards, but on these long span, once you start to exceed the actual limitations of ethernet cabling, and you, you don't want to run fiber because you're afraid of it, or you just can't because it's not an opportune time because there's no power at the other end or whatever your fucking excuse is. We used to use things like this, these long span adapters. So the concept here is that you can inject and extract DC power from these or use them to extend the reach of a PoE cable length. Like, God, sometimes an extremely long distance, like about like 500 meters. I think these things will do 500 meters. Recently, these fuckers got blown up in an electrical storm, which happens here in Southern Ontario. And so I replaced it with one of these Jeepers and was fucking shocked at how well this thing actually worked. This is a brilliant, brilliant little device here. And fucking right, wow, the little 50 fucking dollar part replaced a $500 set of fucking things. So anyway, let's take these things apart. So first of all, oh, I should also mention that the Jeeper here, you can take out these jumpers to disable the PoE. Fucking handy, really handy actually. Let's put this aside for a minute and we're gonna take one of these guys apart and actually take, take a see what looks like the inside does. <laughs> You know, I really don't feel like doing this by fucking hand. Where's a fucking screwdriver? Oh, I got one of these. There we go, let's try this thing. How useless is this? Oh Christ, I could do it faster with my teeth. Here we go. Let's try this. There we go. There we go, there's one. One left. There we go, all right. That's all we need that for now. And I gotta be kind of quiet because it's getting light. I think it's like, it's uh, half 12 where I am right now. So here we go. So this is the, uh, this is the source module, I guess. And what are these? They're the long span VLS one PCs. So these are kind of fucking cool actually, because this is the power board. So this actually does the, this does the basic shit. Like it's got a fuse on it. It's got a transistor on it and it's got a bunch of diodes. So it has a basic voltage voltage regulator and a bunch of TVS shit on it to fucking, you know, keep it from fucking blowing up. Now this basically has just a network switch in it. And uh, I think it has a small boost converter in it as well to bring the voltage up. And that's typically how these things work. This is actually produced by radial electronics. And I'm gonna, you know what, let me grab a multimeter because this thing got popped in a storm, right? So I'm gonna, that's, where's my probes? I like probing things. Don't you like probing things? Wow, are you kidding? That battery's dead already? Holy shit, Amazon, your fucking batteries suck. Guys, don't buy anything from fucking Amazon. It's all fucking garbage. Really? Yeah, I'm on a mission, man. Because I really like this multimeter and fuck me if I'm gonna fucking just charge these batteries and fucking find out that it's fucking garbage again. I went to the battery store the other day and I bought some fucking batteries. I know I've got like 10 multimeters, but I don't fucking care. I want to use this one. I just, I just want to use this fucking multimeter so bad. Why do I want to use this so bad? Because a friend gave it to me and it's really cool. There. Oh my God, it works. For the love of Christ, a working fucking bench multimeter. I actually ordered a new one for the channel, by the way, from our friends at AliExpress because I found a really fucking cool one that'll work really good for recording. Here we go. We'll put that right there. Let's plug our probes in. Hello, goat. And hello, raccoon. Yay. All right. Let's plug the probes into their appropriate holes. People like sticking things in holes, right? There we go, let's check the fuse on this fucker, which is right here, it's a big beefy 1.5 amp. Yeah, that looks good. I guess that one's good. Let's take apart the second one. Come apart, damn you. Here's the other one. It's a nice little piece of uh, thermal transfer shite in here, which should have been on that one too. That's a little concerning. All right. Fuse is good on that one too, so I'll bet you di dimes to donuts that the fucking ethernet chipsets are popped on these guys. Cause hey, you know, lightning hits shit. It doesn't fucking work very long. All right, well anyway, so let's look here. So this looks like a scrub the Theros chip. Oh no, it's a Qualcomm, is it a Qualcomm of Theros or is it Qualcomm? What is it we got here? Looks like, that looks like an Atheros chip. I'm not even gonna bother fucking looking it up. And then this is a, okay, so that's the ethernet chip. And then I think this is for the PoE. Cool, we got our magnetics here. It's really not much to these things. They're basically just a network switch with a boost converter in them. It's all that they are. There's no magic to them. There. All right, so let's put this shit aside. This is what I really care about. I want to fucking get into this. I want to dig around inside of it. I want to get inside of it. Oh yeah, I like getting inside of things. All right, so first of all, I'm going to take out these little jumpers. Hello, jumpers. Well, no, that sucks. Whatever. I did buy this third one just for a spare and to uh, take apart for you guys anyway. Here we go. So there we go, there's that. 
Now let's see if I can pop it open. Oh my god, is it, is, this isn't glued, is it? No, don't be glued, you fucker. No. I'm gonna have to fucking manhandle this thing, which means I'm gonna fucking slice my hands open. Oh, wait. If it didn't fit, you must have quit. If I get this at the right angle, I can break the plastics, I'm sure. Let's try it like this. All right. Ha ha ha. Plastic welding never ever stood a chance against Sarah. There we go. Ha ha ha. I got inside. <laughs> There's another sticker inside of it. It's like sticker inception. That's fucking cool. So what do we got here? There's the Jeeper serial number. Jesus Christ, that shit went right to my head. So what do we got here? It looks like it's its own proprietary chip. Yep, it's an M8E, or sorry, 89E 6431 NXU2 K5 NG1 05 JW. Yeah, I can read that. Isn't that fucking nuts? That's cool. So here's our magnetics on both sides of the board here. And it's very, very simple. Here's the boost circuitry, it, but it looks like it's auto sensing. I, I believe that what this actually does is it'll read the input voltage and then adjust accordingly. Cool shit, which means that there's a boot process to this. I should probably look up the chip. Let me grab my cell phone just to make sure that I'm not on fucking crack. Cause you know what? Your cell phone makes a great magnifying glass. That's a good thing to learn kids. Let's see here. Do, 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 There we go. I got the picture. See, if it's really tiny or your fucking eyes just suck, you can do this. So 88E6341NXU2. Let's look that up on the computer over here. NVIDIA, fuck off. God, I hate NVIDIA's stupid bullshit fucking software. Stay off my computer, you piece of shit. Here we go. Okay, so 88E6341. Dash, NXU2. What do we got here? It's a marble. Fuck, it doesn't say much about it. Oh, IC LAN hub controller, also known as 88E6031. That's okay, so it's basically just another network switch. So that is the magic behind this, is that it's literally got just dynamic boost circuitry here because this is good for 24 or 54 volts in, and it'll repeat that, of course. Uh, and basically, so you've got two circuits here. You've got two things happening here, okay? So you've got your ethernet switch here, which takes the input, and then it repeats it. So basically it acts as an extender that way. And there's probably a filter in here as well to help with noise. But I mean, obviously once you go too far, then you've gone too far. And I mean, like you're just going to drop down to 100 megs and negotiate 100 megs. But then you've also got a dynamic boost controller in here. So it's actually taking, if you've got 24, it's boosting it back up, I'm assuming to 27. And if it's 54, um, it will boost it back up to 57 uh, or 54, probably 54. Um, so somehow it's detecting through black magic of the devil himself, um, detecting the input voltage, which is then setting the output voltage of the boost converter on here. And then of course the ethernet, oops, it's gonna fall off. Heh, I broke it. <laughs> awesome. So anyway, so you've got the ethernet chipset portion here, which is basically just a network switch. And then you've got your DC to DC boost converter, dynamic boost. So it's a very clever piece of tech and they managed to make it way cheaper and simpler than this. Look at that, $50, $500. Like the choice is pretty simple folks. And this one's gigabit, and this one's limited to 100 meg only. I mean, like, come on, there's like no competition here, no comparison. This is just, you need two of these fuckers to make this thing work. So if you use these ones, you have to use these two boards together. Otherwise, it's not gonna work, right? You have to use these. So you have to use one as a transmitter and one as a receiver. It's a, it's a set, a mated set that has to be together for it to work, right? Where these guys, you just need one. That's all, you need one, and you keep adding them to extend your cable length, your chain. See, that to me makes more sense. That's just brilliant right there. That's a brilliant piece of technology. Microtop uh, Tick, once again, fucking outdid themselves. That's just brilliant. I'm gonna solder those wires across so that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> so I can use this again in the future. Or it might just become part of the demo lab and it'll be on the bench forever as a piece of equipment which gets uh, demoed and whatever, because that's kind of what I do on this channel, right? So there you go. This is uh, a set of $500, or sorry, a $500 set of range extenders versus a $50 range extender that outperforms these guys, hands down. I don't know. <laughs> What do you think the choice would be? Anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, join our Patreon or jump on the Miss Fix It Facebook page. And yeah, I, I don't just post. I just wanted to mention this because I never mentioned this thing before. The Miss Fix It Facebook page isn't just about Miss Fix It. Um, there's lots of you guys out there that post some really wicked science and biology and medical and physics and technology shit, right? So when I see really wicked posts like that, that I 
think you guys might enjoy and that I personally enjoy, I typically put them onto the Miss Fix It Facebook page so you can learn all sorts of neat stuff about physics and biology on there because biology is fascinating. Um, there's lots of cool stuff about Alzheimer's and cancer research on there and um, there's lots of stuff about quantum physics and the evolution of our quantum technologies that are currently emerging. So yeah, like, subscribe, join the Patreon, join the Miss Fix It Facebook page. There's lots of cool shit on there. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming. Have a good night.